Hello everyone and welcome to Everything Wrong with Spirit Untamed, the CinemaSins parody that nobody asked for. Now for the sake of my sanity and not having the counter exceed 6 digits, I will be viewing this movie as a completely separate entity from Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron because honestly, when compared, it lacks everything the original did excellently. However, I have to admit, as its own movie, I did quite enjoy it. But I am here to rip it apart for your entertainment. Enjoy! <laughs> this is actually one of my favourite tracks in the entire movie, so we'll start off strong with a minor sin. <gasps> and we aren't even a minute into this movie and the mother has already died in front of the father holding their baby child. Oh boy. Get to go to amazing fun parties. You're not missing anything besides hate other kids. Yeah, why is Lucky not allowed to go to this party with the other kids? Has she got some kind of disease they don't want spreading? I mean, it does appear to be the 19th century, so it is possible. If a train traveling 25 miles per hour leaves the station at 8 a.m., when will I ever need to know this? This movie is being relatable to kids, but it does fail to mention that her grandfather owns the railway company and her dad works for the same company. So she will most likely need this regardless, right? Mom, you're betraying my dress! So Lucky lets in a squirrel, it starts to run around her room, but why exactly is she chasing it around the house? I mean, there is only so much damage a squirrel can do, right? To all this chaos? Hi, Grandpa. Yeah, exactly. The squirrel caused minimal damage. Most of this was Lucky. <laughs> Wait a second. If Lucky is here and her grandfather is opposite her, where was the photographer of this photo? All right, all right, I know it's just a movie, but we're here to sin things, goddammit. Mr. Twinkles, what are these people doing in our cabin? Oh. Is she asking her dog why they're in her cabin? I think this lady might be a bit more deranged than these people seem to notice. Okay, I feel like I need to talk about this. So imagine you had a movie about cars, right? But the cars were really badly designed and didn't move or work like a car at all. Spirit's model is, I suppose, an artistic take on horses, but the animations are just painful to watch at certain points. Lucky is clearly a 12-year-old superhuman who can hang onto the side of an old-timey train going 80 miles an hour. Whoa! Watch yourself there, princess. You'll make someone real unhappy you go diving overboard like that. This man makes me so uncomfortable and I can't even pinpoint why. Like, I know he's supposed to be the villain and I'm not supposed to like him, but there's just something about him that makes me want to run very, very far away. I just wanted to say, I feel terrible for this dude. He's been needing to go since the start of this train ride, and there are now multiple shots of him in what looks like agony. I feel you, man. Stay out of trouble now, hey. princess. Ugh, he just icks me out so much. We ran out of money. I saw some horses from the train. That'll buy us our next ticket out of here. Is this man based off of Dutch Vandalin? Has he got a plan? What's he gonna do if he didn't see the wild horses from the train? His little posse would have been so annoyed. <gasps> horses can do that? <laughs> Lucky's impressed that a horse went backwards? Did she not know that they could do that? Need a ride? Snips is the name. What is wrong with that donkey? This man looks like a Funko Pop come to life. How does he not fall straight over? Uh, no! Uh, <laughs> rest in peace, that donkey's spinal cord. Like the way you better stop pressing those nice people. Am I going to remove a sin here because they made the character Abigail cool and have hot red chaps? Yes. Yes, I am. I think that donkey ate part of my dress. When? And where? I watched the clips back. I vouch for donkey innocence. Beautiful horse. And did you know that horses could walk backwards? Lucky, I... This child was being given a decent education, but it never occurred to her that horses could walk backwards? Don't go near those boxes, Cora. Highly explosive. Oh. This man can keep highly explosive boxes in his house, but couldn't keep his kid around. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, that was harsh. This is your room. What do you think? 
that's a lot of strawberries. Okay, let's unpack this. So Lucky was seen eating strawberries at the show where her mother died, so this couldn't possibly be a bad mental trigger for her, right? And isn't it a bit messed up to think about anyway? Hey, child I abandoned, you love strawberries as a literal baby, so now your room is decorated with them. You're even eating them right before your mother died. They used to ride with your mother. Right, yeah, they, they actually said I looked just like her. You know, I was looking up Lucky's mother to see if I could sin this line, and I had the misfortune of coming across this image of Lucky in Spirit Riding Free, the TV show version of this movie. Yeah, I have nothing to say, I just needed to have some reassurance after seeing this image. Yeah, they, they actually said I looked just like her. <laughs> well, that was awkward. I'll get her right for the festival at the end of summer. Is that barn... Okay? This line is just so bad. In what world would you ask if a building is... You know what? You know what? It doesn't matter. Just, just sin it. Just sin it. It's not as bad as it sounds. <laughs> um, or the horse, anyway. Alright, that setup was kind of funny. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You crazy horse! Don't mention the original Abby. You said you wouldn't. Even though this is a literal copy of one of the scenes... Remember me? From the train? I'm so glad the evil guys were nice enough to tie Spirit up with a quick release knot. You know, just in case he freaks out. Ended on my father's face? The Honorable James Prescott? Yeah, maybe? That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Jim, that's not how you express finding something funny. Does he not know how to laugh? His name is... Spirit. That was an odd little moment she had there. Well, you have fun. See you later. Ah yes, the trope of leaving the city girl with no equine experience alone with a wild horse. Yeah, love to see it. It's better than a potato. Mm -hmm. Got you covered, buddy. Don't you worry. Now, I hate to be rude, but Boomerang is by far the ugliest horse I've ever seen. Why are his nostrils twice the size of his forehead? This horse is built like a bull. I feel like I have to bring this up because it is actually a legitimate issue. This movie is aimed at kids and you'd imagine young horse people watching this movie. These kinds of movies cause problems because they reinforce really bad behaviours around horses. For example, feeding a horse with your thumb pointing up is a really quick way to accidentally lose a finger. Or feeding horses that you don't own, especially multiple times with something like an apple which is very high in sugars. I really think they could have had her friends give her real pointers that would have helped break habits that cause harm to people and horses in the real world. This man is standing in the rain watching Lucky and her friends. Please someone call the police. <laughs> Alright, so that's how it's gonna be. Do I really need to say it? Untrained city girl riding wild horses bareback in movies. Something about that Hendrix is familiar. Are these guys blind? There are wanted posters everywhere with his face on it. There are literally two behind Jim. Deep open, which I had nothing to do with. And then Lucky fell onto the horse and they took off towards the canyon. The donkey is so cute here, I have to take off a sin. Good thing your name's Lucky. Well, is her middle name Irony? This situation isn't ironic though. Irony would be if she never wanted anything to do with the horse and somehow ended up riding him and luckily staying on. So the setup on this point isn't ironic and why am I trying to rationalize this? Listen, that horse doesn't belong to she doesn't you. doesn't belong to those wranglers either. They're mistreating him and you don't even care. To be fair, Lucky is literally diverting the conversation. Jim is talking about how Lucky shouldn't have been riding a horse that wasn't her own and she spins it to be about him not caring about the wild horse. Two very separate topics, both valid, but separate. But you're giving up on me again. Oh, ouch. If Red Dead has taught me anything, it's never to stand on train tracks, especially in the dark with mist. I mean, I suppose you would hear it, but if she's standing on the bridge and the train comes, she's in major trouble. <sighs> What's with the heartbeat? 
There was like 20 seconds of scary that turned out to be nothing. Was the dramatics really necessary? All right, boys, let's round them up. This scene is so weirdly violent. This horse gets yanked out of existence and this one gets absolutely floored. And in this shot, you can just see horse legs up in the air. Why? <laughs> Can no one hear this train over the dramatic music and unnecessary horse cruelty? Lucky is right in front of it and she didn't notice it until she literally turned around to see it. If you've seen my Everything Wrong With Black Beauty video, you'll know why I hate horses offering rides. So, you want us to get on our horses, ride all night to stop a speeding train, take down a band of dirty old thieves, and release a herd of wild horses? So, from what I understand, these guys stole a train and then rounded up the horses. Shouldn't there be lawmen who are very keen on getting this very expensive train back? No? Just the kids? Okay. Too far! What if we take a shortcut over this big pointy thingy. Wait, according to this map, they would have to go around Heck Mountain though. It would literally be quicker to go this way, then go on top of the mountain, then have to go back down and then around? These plot holes are making my brain hurt. There's a moose and he's a waiting. Uh, how is she? Nice. All right, I'll give you that moment of self-awareness. Is it supposed to move that much? It's fine. Suspension bridges are built to support incredible weight. See that? That's irony. I'm sure she's perfectly fine wherever she is. Lucky, are you dead? Irony again. Got it. I thought she was a goner. We never doubted you. Okay, this movie has some charming moments. Get out of there. <laughs> I just don't like Boomerang. I genuinely like that donkey more than him. Jam. Ja Whoa. What's with all the berries? This man is so shocked by strawberry decor, he stops to comment on it in the midst of their children being missing. Did you catch the part about the train? I am the train. You are the train? Are we about to witness some horrific metamorphosis where Jim becomes a human version of Thomas the Tank Engine? Let's go get our girl. This man has more of a connection with his train than he does with his own daughter. Go, go! Now look, I get this guy is meant to be the bad guy, but he also blatantly just physically hits horses multiple times during this movie. I already hated him, I didn't need to see the poor horses getting beaten too. This is honestly one of the coolest scenes in the movie. The lighting, the music, just great. I'll actually take a sin off for this. <sighs> that is 100% a broken ankle and completely unnecessary to have put in since Spirit just gets up fine after this incredible fall. By any chance you pack your baby costume? <gasps> oh my, Jim. Best joke in the movie, it gets me every time. Is this man about to crowbar a child? So you can't, you can't do that. I don't get paid enough for this. You know what? Fair play to the guy. Don't let capitalism bully you people. This scene looks so cool until you freeze frame it. Like why did he become the donkey from Shrek? Somebody's luck just ran out. Yes, yours. Aunt Cora is such an underrated badass character. Nice rolling, Cora. <laughs> Quite enough. Like, look at her go! Well, Spirit, I guess it's time for me to go. I'm honestly really glad the movie ended with him still being wild. Makes for a bittersweet but honorable ending. If you enjoyed the video, please consider joining as a channel member because it helps me make videos that get claimed, just like this one. Thank you to all my wonderful current members, and let me know in the comments what horse movie I should do next. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, stay positive, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye